Hello and welcome in this tutorial on procedurally generating a 2D dungeon in Unity. We are going to explore two algorithms, random walk and binary space partitioning, that we will use to generate floors of our dungeon. We are going to take a look at how those two algorithms are used to create two main components of every dungeon, meaning rooms and corridors connecting those rooms. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. First of all, I would like to show you the results of what we are going to implement. Next, I will explain the theory behind both algorithms and the methodology of how we are going to use those. And finally, we are going to go step by step implementing the code into Unity to create our tool to generate random dungeons in the editor as well as in the play mode. If it sounds interesting, let's get going. First, Let's explore the results. We will start from exploring the random walk algorithm that will allow us to create a single room dungeon and by tweaking the settings it will generate also small corridors and multiple rooms. The results are pretty nice, but we would like to tweak this algorithm and make it follow a specific direction for a given number of steps. This will allow us to create a random walk algorithm that will create a web of corridors we will select at random ends of those corridors and create at those ends rooms for our dungeon. So this will generate us a dungeon that is made out of multiple rooms connected with corridors. At the end, we are also going to explore a binary space partitioning algorithm that will create rooms first. That will allow us to split a bigger area that we predefine we are also going to create a very simple way to connect those rooms together and we are going to connect uh, both algorithms, the binary space partitioning and the random walk algorithm to create a set of rooms that look more organic and are still connected with corridors. So this approach is called room first dungeon generation. In the next video, we will talk more about the algorithms themselves and the methodology of procedural generation before we start writing some code. If you are enjoying this tutorial, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, it helps me a lot. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section or join the Discord, I will do my best to answer those questions. See you in the next video.